M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Thanks to Tony for pointing out this new firmware by Fagi version 9. It's just a few days ago, so today's the 12th of October 2023. I've been through the menu. I mean, the backlight now can stay on permanently. I do really like the orange display, but you might have the white display. Just press menu here, and then you can scroll down, get a feel for some of the functions that have been changed. So up and down with the arrow, battery percentage, battery voltage, Roger on off, message, D live, D list, hold. I and mean, it's got lots of items that I don't actually recognize, but uh, a lot of work has been put into this. The frequency steps have been improved. You can now get 8.33. Mic gain adjust. I would say go through it and and experiment and see what you can get. You can save memory channels. It, it, you, I'll show you the bands actually. If we come out, exit button there. If we go F then band, the bands start to change. We're on the B band. To go to B band, you go F3 by the way. So F band, F, see the frequencies changing? 360, 435, 490, 50 megahertz. 108, 2 meters or 145, 250 megs. I mean, look at it. And this is on A and B band. It will do dual watch as well. 70 SEMS, PMR, GMRS. And I noticed on the A band, let's go F, A, even went to 28 megahertz. USB, LSB as well. So you'll have to familiarize yourself with this firmware there you are 28 megs f memory that's our memory channels you can name the memory channels let's go through some more let's go f5 and get the scope and i if you press different buttons different things happen with the scope so experiment with that let's press the star I'm just pressing anything at the moment. But yeah, learn it and use it. You can see it does work. Exit with that button. Broadcast radio. I mean, you think these are like £15 now. So you go F. You see the F appear on the screen, then you go zero. I don't have That's normal radio. So, you know, it's lots to play with for hardly any money. Um, obviously, you take a risk when you add any kind of firmware like this. I'll um, At the end of this video, I'll just quickly show you how I load it. But remember, you just turn it off. Hold down the PTT. Turn it on. You get this white light. It means you're in firmware mode. Unplug that. Grab your programming cable like so. So you're already right at the radio end. Push it in firmly. Make sure that the light stays on. And then when the firmware's finished, just turn the radio on and off and then just play and learn. And I'll put the links in for the download and I, the rest of the video will just be showing me loading the firmware onto this. So this is the page, the GitHub page, link in description. I'll put the actual download to the firmware in the link as well. But this is the sort of like Quangsheng page. If you scroll to the very bottom, you'll get the software you need right down here to load it, which is the one here called firmware. Now it comes with different firmware, but the firmware that I'm using in the video is, is not this one, but this is one of the latest ones. Click download here and you'll get this file, double click. And there is firmware here. I'm not sure when that came out, but it looks quite recent as well. And you can try that as well. Um, but otherwise the firmware you just saw in the video there is a USB driver here, you can add that if you want, but the one above, Anonymous Updater, double click that, click yes. You might get a few things like saying wrong language and that, but just keep doing it, it will load. Finish, and then you end up with this program. Okay, this is what it looks like. I, obviously, I've already used this program. So your radio is plugged into the PC, so right click where the squares are, Device Manager, port so look com9 you want that usb serial ch340 com9 here drop down 
choose COM9 and you have to click connect. Then choose the firmware. So I could just, this is the one that you need to choose if you want what you just saw me in the video, 1.01 Fadgy Spectrum 9. The one that I just saw downloads doesn't seem to be showing. Let's have a look. Could be that one. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, update. So anyway, once you've got this, well, once you've selected the three dots, chose your firmware, okay, click open, it puts it there, and then you can choose your language, Chinese or English, and then go update. And yeah, it's, it's not the correct file there, so if I choose the other file that I've got, so downloads, where is it? I've got it on my desktop somewhere. I tend to just create a file called the name of the radio, there it is there and then update and the radio just flashes away which it's doing right now um, then you can have a play and I will have a quick look at what they're saying about I will have a quick look at what their latest firmware is and um, maybe do an add-on video for that I just need to open it first so to do that all I got to do so, so it's in there now it's all working fine but to do their firmware I just need to go to my downloads like so, double click, and then just drag out that firmware file where I'm gonna find it. There you are, you can see it there on the desktop with Chinese writing 2.0131. So go back to the same software. We know it's COM9, connect, always remember to connect, choose that same one, so we'll go desktop, look for that Chinese writing, English, Ah, see, it's not, see the way it's not even let, letting me use that one. So that's interesting that it won't let me use that one. Anyway, thanks. I thought I'd try it. Bye for now. Catch you on air 7-3.